You're falling apart, though, at the scenes, aren't you? Not at all. We've had uh, an unfortunate resignation today. Uh, it is sad. Stephen Wolfe has been a great man within our organisation, has played a key role in bringing independence to Britain, and we now wish him well. But as a party, we're very much going to be focused on the election of our new leader, which, as we've just heard, is now going to conclude before the end of November. That's very exciting for me as the chairman. It's going to be very exciting for our members as well, I'm sure. And it's, we, we face it with optimism. As, how united are you as a party? We're going to be very how united. Are you united now? We are going to be very united but you're not behind united that new now. leader. Well, look, we're a party right now uh, that is going through some changes of that there's no doubt but they're not changes that we should be frightened or bothered about in any way we've got a reassuring figure as leader in Nigel Farage who we're very glad to have back for this interim period he's going to help steady the ship and uh, support us all as we go through these next six or seven weeks uh, of a leadership contest and then what I'm hoping all members will do whoever the uh, winner is in this leadership contest is that we will gather behind them at the end of November and move forward into 2017. And then six weeks after he or she's elected Nigel Farage will be back I mean you, you, you're a one-man band. I think Nigel is uh, a real hero of our party. He's demonstrated that again by being prepared to step back into the breach. And I've no doubt, although I think it's unlikely, Dermot, that if uh, whoever is elected at the end of November decides to resign uh, before Christmas, that Nigel will come back. But let's focus on the fact that that's not going to happen. We put forward a very robust process, I think, that is going to elect the right person to lead our party into 2017. And both I and Nigel are very uh, are looking forward very much to finding out who that's going to be. But, but, but let's examine the comment you made to me there that you will unite. I mean, you heard Stephen Wolfe there. He talked about internecine warfare. Now, before he resigned, he was being like you. He was papering over the cracks and telling us, oh, we're all getting on terribly well. And then the incident happened in Strasbourg. He's talking now. He's clear about it. Internecine warfare. Do you not see any of that? You're the chairman. Well, let's be clear. I I'm not papering over any cracks. I have the benefit of my inbox, which is filled daily with members of our party who are out every day campaigning for the things that UKIP cares about. Everybody wants a new leader in place. I'm sure Stephen felt that way before his resignation. But I'm now more inclined to think about the tens of thousands of members that we still have mm. who are going to be focused on getting the right leader in place, who are going to be focused on taking us into 2017. Everybody needs somebody to rally behind. For an awfully long period of time, we did that behind Nigel. And he was easy to rally behind, let me tell you. Yeah, uh, we're now going to have point. a new leader. We're now going to have a new leader. That yeah. person, I'm sure, will get the support of Nigel. I it's smile, going to be an exciting I, period I for us. Because you know who you sound an awful lot like? You sound like a, a member of the Labour Party. I sound like a member of the Labour Party. Yes, well, in I've been accused of many things, Dermot, but that's, in, that's unfair, if I may exactly. say so. But that's why I smile, because there are similarities. I have many, many people from both sides, all sides of the Labour Party, coming in and telling me how united they are, and they've got to unite behind the Labour Well, I'm not here and to then, talk about the Labour yeah, well, Party. Well, exactly, but then they're going around stabbing him in the back. I mean, does Douglas Carswell get on with Nigel Farage? Douglas Carswell is committed to the future of the party and is looking forward to getting behind whoever the next leader of the party is. The one thing I will say about the Labour Party is we're all grateful that they're in existence right now because whenever we feel like we're having a bad day, we turn on the TV <laughs> okay. and invariably they make us feel better about things. Uh, you know, Douglas, Nigel, everybody now is focused behind getting ourselves a new leader, uniting behind that new leader and moving ourselves forward into a very exciting 2017. But as I say, Stephen Wolf said those very things. Now he's left the party, he's free to tell us how it is. Well, look, let's be clear. I mean, and, and seriously, Stephen Wolfe has had a very serious medical... Do you think medical... he's making it up? No, I don't, but well, he's had a, he's had think, a, ver he's had a very serious to his head? medical yes. condition. Well, and actually, all well, I can well, 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 concern myself, myself about... Now? His all medical I concern condition. myself about is his well-being, making sure that he gets better as quickly as possible. That's what I care about. I'm sure that's what all of our members care about as well. And frankly, I'm not going to second-guess why Stephen's saying what he's saying now, and why now the time that Stephen's saying it. All I care about is Stephen getting back to full okay, fitness. OK, but, but it's not true, is what you're saying. I certainly would disagree that the party is unmanageable unless Nigel's the leader, although, ironically, we've got Nigel as the leader right now. So that means it's perfectly manageable, which is good for the next six or seven weeks. I'm sure it will be manageable beyond that. I think we've got people who have strong opinions within the party. That's part of what makes UKIP unique. It's part of our charm. I would certainly never try and stamp on that. What we've got is a, is a leadership contest now that I think will showcase the breadth and depth of the talent that we've got with it within our ranks. I'm looking forward to watching that. I hope the voters enjoy watching that as well. And whoever's successful, I'm sure, is going to lead us into a very successful 2017. But just lastly, on that point, do you think that Stephen Wolfe's medical condition, are you saying it's affected his judgment? Not at all. What I'm saying is that I've managed to speak to Stephen Wolfe once 
since the altercation that took place in Strasbourg a week last Thursday. Clearly, Stephen is suffering. He said in his statement that he isn't uh, recovered yet. And all I care about when it comes to Stephen Wolf is him getting back to full health as quickly as possible and me and our party wishing him the very best. OK, Mr. Ogren, thank you very much. Thank indeed. you. Very good to see you there. The chairman of UKIP there.